How many times have you thought of a new idea, a new project, um, something that excites you, only to later find it smashed to pieces by a negative voice, whether that's coming from peers, parents, others in the community, or often your own self? How many times have you decided you wanted to branch out and to go to a party or go to a part of town that you've never been in to try to meet new people or just venture outside of your comfort zone only to find yourself limited once again by doubt, fear, insecurities, things like this. I wanted to talk a little bit about this today, um, about allowing yourself to be you, allowing yourself to be happy and allowing yourself to be free. So what do I mean when I say allowing yourself? What am I, what am I really saying here? What I'm talking about is the idea that each of us wake up every day, we make conscious decisions, we decide what we want to eat, where we're going to go, who we're going to hang out, and we decide how we're going to spend our valued time. And it's just as easy as we make those decisions, we can make decisions about being happy and about choosing to be free. Um, it's 2014 now and the awakening has continued to grow around planet Earth. And this year there seems to be quite a bit of activists who I've talked to who see 2014 as a year of gain, that we're going to make huge strides this year, that projects are being put into place, coalitions are being formed, and you know things are becoming more cohesive. So as we're becoming more cohesive, we have to take time to recognize that we are the masters of our own domain, we are the deciders of our fate, and we control whether or not we are free. And I think more people have begun to realize these things, which is why we have this sense of uh, cohesiveness, this sense of gain, because all of a sudden we're turning around and realizing, wait, these people, these they, the Illuminati, the New World Order, ruling class, elite, the state, whatever you want to call them, that they are ultimately powerless, and that each of us as individuals have the power. So, this idea came to me through, you know, in Houston, running around with various spiritual circles, self-help circles, and the idea is basically, you know, you have to give yourself permission to be happy, to be free. So some of you out there are saying, well, why do I need to give myself permission? You sound like a status. I have to, you know, I have to give myself permission in, in order to be free, to be happy. What exactly does that mean? What I mean is often when we try to reach out to others and try to launch new projects or we try to just be ourselves, we'll get this self-talk, this negative, limiting doubting voice that will tell us don't do that don't bother don't try don't even, you know don't even take the first step towards a new adventure so we find ourselves in what is called learned helplessness where after a while our brains our minds we become conditioned to this self-talk and I'm going to give you an example from my own life um, 10 years or so ago I was very depressed I tried to kill myself a, com a couple of times and I realized over the years that the reason I was feeling so down, the reason I was so depressed and was lost and easily manipulated by the state and not realizing my own power was because of that self-doubt. I've had this voice that stayed with me my entire life that would always pop up every time I started to feel happiness or every time I wanted to uh, you know, go out and do new things that would offer all kinds of reasons why I shouldn't pursue this path and remind me of how silly I was, how nobody was going to listen to anything I had to say and I might as well not bother, there's no reason to go out there and try to do something new and things like that. So after hearing this voice, and we all have a different voice I imagine, but after hearing this self-talk, you know, over and over, this became my reality. You know, your thoughts, your words, and your actions become your destiny. So if I'm starting off with negative limiting thoughts and ideas, that becomes my reality and then I speak from that point, I act from that point and I behave from that point and my destiny is headed towards that direction or it was headed in that direction. So uh, let me give you a more recent example. The other day I'm in the store and uh, I'm just walking through the grocery store, perusing the aisles, all up in my own head and I started to giggle and laugh out loud for something, something that popped into my head and uh, there was another person down the aisle and I caught myself, I felt really insecure, I was like, oh, shut up, and uh, you know, I told myself to shut up and just stop being so silly or something like that. But then instantly caught myself and said, well, why? Why do I need to be quiet? Why should I not laugh? You know, and and I, I analyzed it, I sat there in the aisle of the grocery store and analyzed it for a second and thought, well, I guess I'm afraid of what this other person down the, you know, down the aisle is going to think, or I'm worried about how uh, others will perceive me. 
But at that moment, I realized, you know what? It doesn't matter. I have to give myself permission to be happy, to be myself. And so I did that. I said, you know what? I had this one-on-one -on -one conversation with myself and said, no, I'm happy and I'm going to express that. I give myself permission to be happy, to be myself. And if you understand that happiness and freedom are completely connected, that whether you have a certain level of freedom or not, if you're not happy inside, if you're not free in the mental sense, then you truly are wearing chains and you truly are caged. So recognizing this, the first step towards truly being free then is to give yourself that permission. Try it out next time you have a doubtful, negative, limiting thought. And these things creep in from time to time. As I said, we, we learn to accept them. We learn that, that voice that pops in and says, oh, no, don't go do that. Just stay home. Or, or, you know, it discourages you from trying new things because our minds and our bodies, we get used to routine. And it's very often difficult to break us from those routines. And it takes a conscious, um, empowered effort to do that. So I just wanted to share that with you guys that take time every day to remind yourself and to give yourself permission to be free, to be you, and to be happy because guess what? You are free. Uh, if you want to follow me and my work, you can find me on Facebook. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel below and uh, look for more videos. As always, if you can hear this, you are the resistance.